Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is Van Amsen and today we will be doing Java script coding challenge uh, task number 2694 event emitter for our day 27 that is part of a 30 day uh, JavaScript coding challenge on uh, lead code and the task is about designing an event emitter class that allows subscribing to events and emitting them. Our class needs to have two methods, subscribe and emit. Uh, also, we are asked that uh, the subscribe method should also return an object with an unsubscribe method that enable uh, the user to unsubscribe when it's uh, called. So let's start by creating our event emitter class. The event emitter class should have two main methods, uh, subscribe and emit, and also return unsubscribe uh, method. So uh, first, uh, to keep track of the <clears throat> unsubscribe and subscribers, yeah, so to subscribers to an event, we will use JavaScript object, which we will initialize in uh, constructor. So constructor to initialize the events object. Constructor this events. And yeah, so this will help uh, keep track of uh, events. And for the subscribe methods, we will need to add callback to events uh, list of uh, callback. So subscribe method adds a callback to the events callback array. If the event doesn't exist, create an empty array for the event. This events event equals this events event or we create and events event push callback. So uh, yeah, uh, next we need to implement unsubscribe uh, method. So for uh, unsubscribe, we filter out the callback from the events callback array. This events event, this events event filter callback callback not equals this callback. So yeah, uh, this will uh, provide with unsubscribe uh, method uh, as a return method. And uh, now for the emit method, we need to call all the callbacks associated with an event and return their result uh, in array. Emit method call all callbacks for the given event with the provided arguments. If the event doesn't exist, return an empty array. If this event event return array. Map over the events callback array and call each callback with the arguments return this events event map callback callback arguments so yeah uh, that's uh, all uh, this is a basic functionality of event emitter uh, class as requested in the task with this implementation we can uh, subscribe to an event emit an event and get the result of callback and unsubscribe uh, 
Chrome and uh, even. The task uh, also provided us with some uh, constraints and example uh, use cases to make sure to take those into account when testing uh, uh, our implementation. So uh, yeah, now let's uh, run this code and see if it's working. I hope it's working. So yeah, so case one uh, passed, same with case two and case three. So all methods uh, subscribe, uh, emit and unsubscribe are uh, working uh, properly. So now we can try to uh, submit this code uh, for unseen test cases. And yeah, so uh, it has passed. Uh, yeah, uh, submit. And also interesting, it beats 86% uh, of other codes with uh, memory and also 62 with uh, runtime. So yeah, uh, quite good. And yeah, it's first time I have done this task and yeah, uh, looks good. So uh, that's for, uh, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, and we have solved yet another calling, coding uh, challenge. I hope you will find this uh, useful and learn something new about event emitter in uh, JavaScript and how to do it. And remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with upcoming uh, coding uh, challenges and keep coding and see you in a next coding video.